Real quick, just want to say this video is not intended for kids, as The Sims 4 is rated T14 and I use graphic mods. Oh, he became friends with Jesse. Oh, how cute! Excuse me. I wasn't done with you. Hello, my beautiful lovelies. It is Rose Eight Seven Six Seven here. Time for another episode of my Tiny Home Legacy Challenge. So, uh, I decided to go do the makeover off camera, as I said in the last one. And guess what? I'm really proud of it. Um, so I kind of went with the idea that we are poor. I hers, I went obviously with Barbie. I went for that she's you know a two bit hoe. But uh, with his, I kind of went for more the idea that we are poor. So I used this shirt from Journey to Batu. I thought it was fitting. Used some like ripped jeans and some sneakers. And that was what I did. Then I decided he can't afford rich formal clothes. That's the idea. That can't afford stuff. So he can't afford formal clothes. So he put like this uh, tie and this short, this very too small for him probably kids jacket dre dress coat over what uh some dress some old dress shirt probably a polo and then some jeans and some shoes that don't even match because he can't afford formal clothes and then over in his like active wear it's a little more put together but it's a ripped shirt some old cargo jeans and some sneakers Sleepwear, again, put together, but it's probably really cheap discount stuff. Then in his party wear, obviously we got some, like, you know, ripped and tattered jeans. Some boots that probably were, he, old, that probably he got from, like, the dump. And then this, like, loose baggy shirt, kind of hippie shirt. His swimwear, he, so I decided he's so poor that he doesn't have swimwear. Instead, he just takes off his clothes and goes out in his underwear. Because... That's what you did when you're poor, and you, or when you forget your swimsuit. He doesn't have a swimsuit, so he just takes off his clothes. His sleepwear, I mean, his hot weather wear, I decided. I decided he didn't have, this is technically a swimsuit, I know. And I'm like, oh, he doesn't have a swimsuit, but he's technically wearing one in this one. I didn't have a lot of options, and I didn't want to just have him, like, walking around in his underwear. So I decided I'd throw him in this swimsuit, probably the only time he wears it on the regular um this you know shirt that looks like it's all ripped and stuff it, i know it's supposed to be part of the design but it looks like some way you ripped it into for a costume that was the aesthetic and then these old sandals i kept this because i figured he didn't have the money I, first of all it's unlocked for him and it's and he's wearing it and that's a house item you have to unlock to wear so i left him in that i figured he didn't have enough money to buy a fancy um like winter coat so he just left that he got some jeans and some old shoe and some old boots now i have fun with mermaids i really do they're fun to create i have a lot of custom content for them and because he is a mermaid i there was no there was no extent to that i got this tail i forget who it's by but it's like all scaly the scales go up the body and it's really cool I figured he, he's not um evil but i figured he needed like a more evilish looking Merform when as soon as I like stop as soon as I put that tail on him I was like yeah we're doing that so he's got this like Day of the Dead makeup that looks a little more evil the black and red eyes and I made his hair a little longer because mermen mer people don't usually have short hair so in my my opinion I feel like they usually have the hair longer and whatnot so he has longer hair in his merform and he looks a little evil and I love it <laughs> I'm really in love with his merform. I kind of hope her, her if she ha gets around to having kids with him, that they have kids. He had no ex no third trait, so I gave him Child of the Ocean. He's untalented and a clubber, so that will be interesting. Um, but yeah, that that's that's uh, the br new Bryce, and I'm really proud of him. I'm really proud of my makeover of him. Again, the only one I'm not really like a hundred percent there with is the formal wear. But the point of it is that it's supposed to look like he can't afford a formal outfit. So, considering he came with us and he didn't bring any money, it looks like he can't afford a formal outfit. So, 
and she can't buy him one right now because she spent so much money on her house. So it makes sense that his formal outfit is a pair of jeans, an old, an old, very not fit, well-fitting jacket, a polo, and a tie, and then some dress shoes that don't even match. <laughs> It makes sense to me, and I'll probably, again, I'll probably change it later. Once they have a little more money, I can pretend they've bought some new clothes. I never did that with Becca. I technically never, I mean, when she got more money, I technically gave her new clothes, but I never got rid of her old clothes, first of all. And then on top of that, I never really charged them for getting clothes, and that's probably a mistake that I should have done, is charge them for having clothes. Um, but I'll probably do that. In fact, I should probably, because he technically grabs the new clothes, even if they were old. Actually, no. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt, because I grabbed a lot of old clothes that he just grabbed them from a dumpster. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt there, that he just kind of grabs the clothes from a dumpster. Um, you can go ahead and go home. You're, you're, oh, he's an adult now. Well, he wasn't an adult when I, when I first met him, so. But you can go ahead and go home. You're, you're, uh. Your usefulness is, is, has been exceeded. We got your kid. I didn't realize he was literally becoming an adult, though, so. Good to know. Um, well, his usefulness of that, that sexy man's usefulness is, is, has come to an end, so. Not only is he married, and now he's an adult, so. Not even worth my time. <laughs> because she, he would be so much older than her. But he's also, like, not only would he be so much older than her, first of all, but he would, um... Yeah, shame about Aiden. <laughs> shame about Aiden. Um, we don't even know his trait, anything about Bryson. We moved in Bryson, we know nothing about him, whereas Aiden, we actually knew stuff about him. That's kind of sad. <laughs> That's a little sad. Um, but yeah, we should probably get to know Bryce and, you know, all oh, right, the dog. I forgot about the dog. That was from, again, from previous household. Uh, should we adopt a dog in this one? I don't, we don't really have a place to put them except for outside, and there are no, again, there's, in The Sims 4, there are no, out, I don't think I've said this before, but in The Sims 4, there are no outdoor dog houses, which is silly, but there aren't. So we would have to put a pet bed out in the snow or something. Yeah, I like the plant there. I think that's a pretty cool, cool touch to do with that space. Oh, there we go. Now I can see it. I like the plant there. Like, it's a little thing to do with that space. We could technically put, like, a pet food thing over here, or his bed, and then put, like, a pet food... Um, what would we even put? Oh, great. If we didn't put the pet food... Okay, we could probably put, like, a pet food bowl right over in this corner, next to the bookcase, and then put, like, the bed right here. If we get a dog. I mean, if we get a cat, well, that takes up less space. So we could put a pet food thing and a, and a, cat, and a uh, pet bed there. And then the scratching post, we could put a scratching post outside, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, TV set premiere was awful. Well, I was busy. I'm sorry. I'm not here for the holidays. I'm here for the money. <laughs> oh, that sounds terrible. Okay, she's just casually, like, reading books. Just kind of reading books here and there. She, oh. She, she wants to buy a pet food bowl. She also wants to perform with who in a tent, though. I'm going to let her have that. I'm going to buy the pet food bowl. If she wants a pet food bowl, she clearly wants a pet, so... I don't know. We'd also have to buy a litter box, though, for our cat, though that's a thing. I feel like a dog would be less hassle. Plus, we could get our fun up and, but, and social by uh, walking them. So I think what we'll do... I think what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to buy a pet food bowl. Put it, like, right there. I'm gonna buy a pet bed. We're gonna get a big, um, we could technically get a small dog, though. That's the thing. I don't know. I'll see what there's available, first of all. Oh, that actually doesn't fit the way where I thought it would. <laughs> That's good to know. It doesn't actually quite fit there. That's good to know. All right, well, we're gonna force it to fit. There we go. Um, and then dog needs an outdoor toy, so, ooh doing that i keep doing that even even in build mode i keep doing that um let's just put a pet thingy right here that'll be fine and then we'll grab a couple of, like balls and stuff there and there and i guess 
Can the dogs use the yarn ball? I know that came with knitting, knitting, but I think it, it apparently pets can use it because it appears in pets. I don't know, I'll test it if a dog can use the yarn ball, because that'd be interesting. Um, I know a cat probably can. That would make sense. The most sense. But we'll test with the dog. Um, I don't think they'd be able to... Oh, hold on. Alright, first of all, I can finally take boo. I can finally turn move objects off. There we go. That can finally fix that. Um, let's put that in there. That in there. Now, does the knitting thing act like a... No, it doesn't actually act like a... I like a dog a, a ball, but apparently pets can use it. You can also put it in your inventory, funny enough. All right, well, uh, we don't have a lot, but I feel like she should at least... I feel like she'd want a pet. Considering she grew, she grew up with one. She had a pet for a... Ver she grew up with one, okay? She probably would have had more, more pets if it weren't for the fact that she probably would have had more time with her pet if it weren't from the fact that her mom died, but I feel like she'd want a pet. So, uh, let's, let's go with the dog. I want to see, because I feel like she had a dog growing up. She'd want another dog. Alright, so, a pug, a bassinet, it's cute. Don't know what a bassinet she is, though. English Cocker Spaniel, these are all small dogs. English Hound. Golden Doodle, I have no idea what that is. Chow Chow, okay. I know, like, a lot of Simmers are into Chow Chows. Personally, I am not. I think they're ugly looking, but you do, you people. I personally just don't like them. French Bulldog. Ooh, a Rottweiler. I like Rottweilers. I don't know why, but I really like Rottweilers. Well, I don't know what you are, even though you're cute, but I think I'm going to go with the Rottweiler. I'm not sure. I'm also not sure how big Golden Doodle is. But I feel like, considering how this let's play, it, this part of the let's play is, and a Rottweiler tends to be a guard dog, I feel like that'd be fitting for this family, having a Rottweiler <laughs> to protect their, uh, their, uh, poor living lifestyle. I feel like that's, they, considering they probably are ghetto as hell right now, I feel like a Rottweiler would be fitting for them. I feel like that just kind of makes sense for this family, having a Rottweiler. All right, he's given the Watt Rattler. Okay, where'd the, where'd the rate go? It's out there, okay. You put it in the house, but it went out here. Okay, now where's the Watt Rattler? Oh, yes, yes. Mimi, hello, Mimi. Uh, I can't introduce myself to you? Oh, I have to greet. That's right. Okay, so let's uh, give them a nice, you know, let's greet Mimi. Let's go ahead and greet. I know she's a couch potato, though, because I'm their friendly. I could, I could, um... Get wind down on the couch, so I want to definitely. I know, I know. How much does it cost to adopt again? First of all, two hundred dollars. Thank goodness we have money. <laughs> that amount of money. All right. Um, I guess get to know because I'm curious of what your traits are. Obviously, I know you're a couch potato just based on that one thing. Okay. So okay. So yeah, couch potato definitely loyal. So that'll be and vocal is the last one. Good to know. Okay, so couch potato, loyal, yep, and vocal, is, I guess, is the last one. It should be the last one, should be couch potato, right? Vocal, loyal, couch potato, yep, I thought so. Okay, this, this seems like it'll be a good dog for us, especially because she's loyal. This is literally the last of our money, but we're adopting a dog, okay? It's, it's, it's said and done. Should we name her Mimi? I feel like I want to name her something else. I feel like I want to name her Jessie. And obviously got to have the last name, Dole. So, Jessie Dole. Yay, we have a nice Rottweiler now to protect our house. Our loyal companion that will protect our house. And we're poor, so. And now we're poor, so. Bye, thanks for the Rottweiler. <laughs> Pro protecting our family. And, you know, protect our, you gotta protect the family. And considering the state we live in, probably a good idea. <laughs> we live in the city, and this camping outside most of the house abode, I feel like it makes sense that we, ha we have a guard dog, so. A guard dog was apparently afraid of the TV. Oh, that's right, I can also control pets. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot, I control pets. Um, okay, so obsessed with the stereo, obsessed with instruments. 
barks normally, afraid of the coffee maker, good thing we don't have that, obsessed with fitness equipment, afraid of the TV, afraid of the doorbell. I wanted a guard dog, and my dog is afraid of the doorbell. Okay, I can't control that. I'll give it to them because they're so cute, but a guard dog really doesn't help if they're afraid of the doorbell. <laughs> guard dog part doesn't really help if they're afraid of the doorbell. Oh, oh yeah, we should probably we should probably get some local cuisine. Uh, right, we're poor. I forgot about that little feature. Uh, we should probably do something about that being poor. Looks like our plants are growing. Oh, perfect timing. Looks like they've got some uh, flowers for us. Let's go ahead and harv uh, sell sell all. Thank you. So we can get some money. The garlic also gave us some some stuff. The forbidden fruit tree is still growing. It has to grow for a bit. Uh, looks like you're also in season in winter. As we picked a good time. You're also in season in winter, so this will be interesting. Uh, you don't have any plants, right? No, because you take the longest to grow. Cow plant is always still growing. I can't water them yet. Oh, that's right. We can name the cow plant. Little Samson. No, we're going to name it. Uh, hmm. Yes, little Sibsy's legacy is that cow plant. Um, we're gonna name it Bessie because old Bessie, old Bessie. We're gonna name it Bessie. Yeah, old Bessie. And now she has a name. That's a lo I love. Like the cow plant has a name. I love it. Thank you, little Sibsy, for bringing that little feature to us. Okay, we can afford food now. I mean, we technically can cook, but I feel like we also already know those recipes, so I'm, I'm not really into that. Oh, I can't wait till the Spice Festival comes around because free food. Because all that free food that we can get and just bring back to our house. All that free food we'll just be able to get and put, bring back to the house. Also, those are worth money. And that's that's really all he's here for is children making and gathering the items that spawn in the city. I know we technically left the collecting part behind with Becca, but let's face it, there's a whole bunch of new stuff that's free money in the city, and he he that's really what his role is. He's gonna gather those for us because he's not. I kind so um I reassessed what I did money wise um. Obviously, gathering doesn't make a lot of money, so I thought it was okay to work a job as long as we didn't get to the top of the career with Clovis. But now that you literally get a lot for prostitution, I feel like he doesn't. The, our husband doesn't need a job because, and he'll just be the collector this time around. Still keeping some of the family tradition in there. Um, some of it, not a lot, but some of it. All right. Speaking of which, you could also use some money. Oh my god, you got all these books in your inventory. What are you doing, girl? Oop, didn't want to drag that. What are you doing, girl? You got all these books in your inventory. Like, seriously. Oh yeah, they also got those photos, so. Also got those photos, so let's sell those. I'll hold on to the death flower. Uh, is this even, is this even safe to eat anymore? It's in your inventory for a while. Seems to be. Seems to be perfectly safe. All right. Uh, you can sell your homework because you're not a child anymore. You can sell this. You can sell this. Some good money. Oh, that's... What am I doing? What am I doing? Boom. Now, why didn't I do that from the start? <laughs> The update did that, and I was not even taking advantage of it. Your teen. She's very pregnant, this lady. She is very pregnant. Alright, should we, uh... Now that she's pregnant, and obviously she can't freeze to death while pregnant, should we... Yeah, we should, uh... Since she can't freeze to death when she's pregnant, also, I realized... I realized... 
She could have, I could have used the death flower if she had freeze to death, but I didn't want to have to use the death flower so soon. So why don't you go here real quick, my dear. I know you're pregnant now, so that should uh, help you. Are you walking slower because you're pregnant? I feel like you're walking a little bit slower due to the being pregnant. All right, there's a little glitch with the, these pants versus this, uh, that shirt I'm noticing, but I'll ignore it for now because they look like old grungy pants. Um, we're gonna go ahead and prostitute for money because we wanna get some money. That money, money, money. Oh, lovely. We're attracting the furry. Or are we? I think I think we're a little too much for the furry. <laughs> yeah, we're a little too much for the furry. That's fu That's funny. Okay, that's funny. So the furry is king shaming us. <laughs> I think that's funny. The furry is king shaming the prostitute. That's funny. I hate. I think that's so funny. All right. Well, clearly because we're now, you know. We're now in this state, we can't freeze to death. Be by this state, I mean we're pregnant because pregnant Sims are freaking invincible in the Sims world. Right. That's not the wrong I wanted. That's not the one. Oh, he became friends with Jesse. Oh, how cute. Excuse me. I wasn't done with you. I want your service, gosh darn it. Don't make me kill ya. <laughs> He's gone. Just like that. I guess he changed his mind. I guess he changed his mind. Only 600? Girl, what are you doing to me? I'm way more... I'm level 5 prostitute. What are you doing? I'm way worth way more than 500. Here, my other guy left. So, you're going to be seduced into, a pre into this now. Uh... Let me see. Uh... We're already pregnant, so I feel like what we should do is we should do anal. I'm sorry, I was supposed to censor that with my words, but it's okay now. Okay, so, yep, uh-huh, thank you. Oh, I said I was going to censor these words, but, because uh, I really don't want YouTube coming after me for this, but, uh, I, in fact, I really don't want YouTube coming after me for this. Right. Oh boy. I mean, they're censored, so it shouldn't be that bad, but if I get in trouble, I, I'm gonna have to, like, skip skip past this generation a little bit. <laughs> or at least not do this stuff on camera from, the, from here on out, because, uh, I haven't uploaded part of any of these, this generation yet, but if YouTube comes after me for this, I'm probably gonna have to rethink the, uh, oh, also, can you use this? No, so that must be more of a cat thing. Got it. More of a cat thing. That's sad. I wanted the dog to see. I wanted to see if a dog could use it. Well, that was money wasted. Yeah, I know you're you're a mermaid. Uh, we got quite a bit of money, so maybe we should give the mermaid a pool because water. Mermaids like water and whatnot. Okay, so we should probably give them the merman. I guess he's telling a mermaid. We should give the merman a pool because mer people like water. Oh, well, apparently that's the biggest pool you're going to get, sir, for now. We'll work on it later. But right now, that's your pool. What's this? Oh, that. Oh, okay. It's not important. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. This is your pool now. It's a little sad. Actually, I think we can get some. Yes, we can get some money back for doing that. So, that's nice. That's worth zero dollars. So perfect. Okay, that will work. And then, uh, we don't really need a pool floaty. So I get what I'll do. So I'll put some like grass stuff on top of it, make it you know, make it look like it it was a, uh, it's a natural pool. It's not like something we built, even though it really is. Uh, it's see, it's technically too also it's technically too cold for him to go be swim to be swimming right now. So it's technically too cold for him to be swimming right now. So 
Okay, cool. All right, we got some money. Money, money, money. Uh, I'm going to pass forward until she gives birth, though, because I it's going to take a while. And she is also cold, so um, why don't you go here? My doll, why don't you go here? Um, <laughs> you could have sat inside. You instead decided to take off your clothes and sit on the edge of the pool. I don't think so, sir. I just said I don't want you freezing to death, and that's, that's how you freeze to death, using the pool. Maybe the pool was a bad idea. I could have at least waited till it wasn't cold out, to be fair. Oh yes, doggo, you eat your food. You eat your food. Oh, the dog needs more food, by the way. Doggo needs more food. Speaking of which, why don't we take Doggo for a walk? We can't go for a jog because we're pregnant. Okay, well, let's go for a long walk. Give Doggo some love. Give Doggo some love. Oh, they have a collar. Oh, it's a cute collar. I like it. I'm gonna let him keep that. Though I probably should probably Doggo should have had like a spi the the Rottweiler should have had the spiky collar because he's supposed to look intimidating, but I mean, let's face it, Jesse is not intimidating. <laughs> She's scared of the freaking doorbell. <laughs> She's really not that intimidating. Aren't you freezing to death in that, sir? I feel like you should be- oh, hi, Reaver. No, Reaver. How are you not freezing to death? Also, what is with your arm right now? I think- I think that's, a uh, a thing I got that's glitched, because the underwear the- this thing tends to make sense, like, pose their arm inside of them. I feel like it's broken and I need to remove that, because it does that. Um... It's also, I'm just realizing now, if he didn't have tights on, that would be super inappropriate. <laughs> so, oh, where did the dog go? Oh my god, you are a played sim. Do not freeze your ass to death. You are one of my sims. Do not freeze your ass to death. I only have so many death flowers, god darn it. Oh, I thought she was younger for a second. She's actually an elder. I didn't- I couldn't tell from far away she is an elder. Okay, where's the dog? How did you let the dog get s so freaking far away from you? Girl! How is your leash this long? How did you let this dog get that far away? And how is your leash this freaking- Where are you- What are you even doing? You're on a walk, but you're just- Oh, now the dog's near you. Because magic! The dog suddenly is right next to you again. This isn't a walk if you, like, literally let the dog walk all the way far away and don't go with them. Where did the dog go now? He's over here. The dog really wants to go over here, but she doesn't. She, she keeps stopping, like, no, we're not going over there. Okay, fine, we'll go over there. And then the dog's back over here. It's like, okay, come on, let's keep going. But then she stops, like, no, we're not going that way, dog. I told you before, we're not going that way. She, she's just so mean. She's so mean. All right, encourage the dog to do a business. They have to pee. The dog has to pee. Okay, she finally let the dog go here. She's like, okay, finally we can go here. And then I brought them up over because I want her to do the business with it. There we go. Perfect. All right, well, I, I'm i going to come check in back later, guys, when the when she goes into labor. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Remember how I said I was going to come back later? I didn't expect the Spice Festival to literally be today, so... We're here for the Spice Festival. Alright, so, can I... It would be nice if I could, like, put these in your inventory. Okay, what can I do to, like, get these in mine? I could pack them in a sack lunch and then I can put them in my inventory. So I'll just grab a couple of these. A couple of these. That's all it's going to let me grab. I'm just going to grab all, a couple of these and a couple of those. And a couple of these. Come on, just put in on. Oh, okay, yeah, I can put them in my inventory. I right, just put, pack them in a sack lunch just so you can keep them. <laughs> Bye, Caleb. Free food. <laughs> That's what it is. It's free food. 
And we're literally gonna we're gonna take all that food that we can. I wish I could just put it away, but this works too. This works too. Alright, pack in a sack lunch. Alright, put in inventory. Yeah, I'm like not talking a lot, I know. Alright, put these all in your inventory. Pack a few more in the sack lunch. Oop, didn't want you to sample the food. I just wanted you to pack them in the sack lunch because free food. Also, can I like, hi, can I grab these two? Can I just like put the, can I, oh wait, what happens if I put them away per se? Oh my God, you're literally here in an outfit you should be freezing in. Just like, see, look, this girl's turning blue. What made you think this was a good idea? Hello, you're 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 not allowed to freeze to death. I'm sorry. You should definitely be freezing to death in that outfit. All right, cool. Did you get all? The okay. Now put these in your inventory. So she can't put them away. Got it. I was gonna have her take those, but uh. It'd be really helpful if she was a kleptomaniac to take those, but also at the same time, really, it wouldn't be a good thing because um, she couldn't take them as a kleptomaniac anyway because the Sims would would the Sims are all around them. All right, sack lunches in the fridge. We have free food now. Thanks, game. We have free food. Um, excuse me. Grab that. Hi. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and put that last one in the fridge that she forgot. We have free food now. Cool, we're good on food for a bit. Um, apparently I didn't pause it. All right, how many servings are left of the, each of these? A lot of servings, actually. This one has three for some reason. This one has six. I'm gonna have you grab a serving of that to eat. You are also hungry, so I'm gonna have you grab a serving of this one. Hi, can I have you grab a serving of this one? No. You don't need to get your food from there. We have a perfectly good free food buffet right outside. Perfectly good free buffet right over here. That's basically what it is. It's a free buffet. <laughs> this is three left. Okay, so I, I don't know how many I grabbed of these, but apparently not a lot because these have more. These, I mean, these have less. Well, this one has a lot too, so. I don't know, I must not grab that many. Wait, oh shit, someone died? <gasps> Are you f Okay, f wait. No, it's not who I thought it was. Never mind. I was gonna be so pissed if it was exactly who I thought it was. Okay, I knew that was gonna happen though. I I knew it. I'm so glad I put him in his, in his, um. Okay, for a second I was like, what on earth did you change into, sir? But he, that's not him. Um, I'm so glad I made Guy, I can't remember. Guy, that's actually his name. Guy, that's really his name. I forgot. That's actually his name. Guy, Guy Villa. I'm so glad I made Guy Villa um, wear, normal, wear his hot weather wear, I mean cold weather wear, because I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was coming. I predicted it. I knew. Where did this come from? Grilled chicken. Huh. So someone grilled that. Um, somebody left a potato here, so why don't you eat that? I knew that was coming, though. That's why I had... That's what the whole reason I had Guy put on his outfit, because I knew he was going to freeze to death like that chick just did, so... Yeah, I predicted it, and I saved him. I didn't care about her. She was an extra, but, um, yeah, I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Okay, that hat, first of all, makes no sense. 
And then second of all, your hair does not work. It's not hat compatible, so it, you look stupid. <laughs> I love how you're wearing the Christmas hat with this, though. That's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. The, the spice out, 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 the spice festival outfits are a little weird, in all honesty. Okay, Grim, can you please? Re oh, thank you. I was gonna say, can you please reap her already? But he did. Look, he was already on it. Um, what are you changing into right now? Because it better be not, not, like, you better be changing into something warmer so you don't freeze to death, because, yeah. Um, should we try, you know, let's attempt the, while we're here, you know, I mean, I'm gonna be mad if we lose, I don't want him to do it because I can't get that shirt back. To do, I can't get that shirt back if he changes into it. But, so I won't have him do it. It's too cold to have him in anything else. So I'll have her do it because I can get that shirt back. So I'm going to have her attempt the, okay, well, maybe she's going to fail it. If, even if, if she attempts it, she's probably going to fail it because she's already having an issue with spicy food. Um, yeah, she's probably, oh, this lady is clearly pregnant. Like, look at her. She, bye, Grim. Bye, Grim. All right, well, that sucks. <laughs> she must be mourning this lady. Should I, should I just, like, leave the grave there? I think I, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know if the grave will go away, though. That's the problem. So maybe I should put it in the old inventory. I'll just get rid of it later. Especially because this lady is just over here mourning it. So. <laughs> I for, so, um, for those of you who don't know, I have base metal drugs in my game. And Sims uh, get high off the hookah in my game, so I think that's, I just got that funny. I just thought that was funny because technically she's going to get high off of that. At least I, I should still have that out on, so she should still technically get high. Yep, she, wait. Girl, you were having issue with spicy food and somehow you beat the, the ultimate spicy food contest? Okay. Okay. She she beat the spicy food contest somehow. Well, that may not be the warmest shirt, but she got a new shirt. <laughs> and she got it for free, so we'll grow with it for the time being. I mean, literally the other shirt was, like, glitching with these pants, so um, we'll roll with it. We'll just pretend, you know, the other shirt was uh, getting a little old and dingy and... She got this shirt for free and said, sure, why not? Oh, hi, dog. The dog has just randomly come over to the party, apparently. You gotta pee? The whole world is your toilet, dog. Literally, the whole world is your toilet. Yeah, it, just drop a load and nobody cares. It's your, your dog, okay? Your whole world is your toilet. Speaking of which, um, you need to, first of all, you need to pee, but I still have that want that you wanted to woohoo in a tent, so, uh, I need you to, I need you to actually probably build up, well, she's too sad probably right now to build up a romance. I wanted her to build up a romance on him so she could woohoo in a tent, but she's probably too sad to do that, so, I'll have to worry about that want later. Oh, he's cute. Why are all the cute people showing up? Wait a minute, are you two related? That can't be, right? Uh, they look kind of similar. Not super similar, but kind of. I don't think they're related. They do look kind of similar, though. Uh, the genetics are just good with these blonde sims in my game, apparently. He's not as good as them. Um, no, not as good. Uh, I'm, fi I'm, find I'm finding all the cute sims ever since I moved to the city. I didn't get as many sims that were noticeable walking by in the last lot. But now I'm, like, getting all the cute sims uh, showing up. Speaking of which, I should find that cute Sim because, let's face it, I want to have his babies. There he is. Hi, you. Yes, I know I'm not going to marry you, but will you, will you, um, will you, uh, get to know me so I can have your babies? Because I'd really like to have your babies at some point. Because you have some good genetics right there. I really don't want to be looking at this guy's neck right now, but the game is lagging, so. 
Anyway, um, I actually have been going for a while. I didn't intend on um, doing more until the birth, but the spice, festival, the spice Festival happened. So I think without further ado, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end this one here. I know, such a lovely view to see as I end it because the game is lagging. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end this one here, guys. I love you all, my beautiful lovelies. I will see you all in the next one. Be sure to like and subscribe for more. I shall see you soon. Bye! Well, hello! If you're still here and you've been enjoying this video, I don't know why you would enjoy my content, but hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Do all those happy things and tell me how you what you thought of it. Be sure to, you know, follow my content as I post videos almost every single day, and I shall see you all soon. Bye!